The deserts of the American Southwest can be a brutal, unforgiving place. Scorching heat, predators at seemingly every turn, and very little water. But for the rock pocket mouse and kangaroo rat, whether an animal lives or dies can depend on the tiniest of details, ranging from the color of their fur to the efficiency of their kidneys down to the number and types of molecules present in their cells. Hi everyone, I'm Noel Pauler, AP Biology teacher and author of the Lab Hamster Storylines. In this video, we will dig deeper into the topic of natural selection and how the process of evolution drives the diversity and unity of life. Let's continue our examination of rock pocket mice and kangaroo rats, two desert-dwelling rodents that provide fascinating examples of how natural selection acts on phenotypic variation in populations. Remember that natural selection consists of four components, genetic variation, struggle for existence, overproduction of offspring, and differential survival and reproduction. Variation in the melanocortin-1 receptor gene, but let's just call it MC1R, leads to differences in the type and amount of pigment molecules that will result in differences in fur color. Production of eumelanin leads to mice having darker fur color, while mice whose cells produce pheomelanin have a much lighter colored coat. The term phenotypic variation refers to the variation of an observed trait, such as fur color. Different versions of the MC1R gene lead to differences in fur color of these animals, and this has proved to be an incredibly important factor in the evolution of rock pocket mice. Large portions of the deserts where rock pocket mice live is dominated by light-colored sand and rock. In these areas, mice that have light-colored fur can blend into their environment. Light-colored mice would seemingly disappear into the background, making them much more difficult for predators like hawks, owls, and snakes to catch and eat. But environments can change. Rock pocket mouse evolution has been greatly influenced by geologic activity. In some areas of the desert, the landscape is drastically different because of the presence of dark volcanic rock that in some areas formed just over a thousand years ago. Once the landscape changed to include darker surfaces, the selective pressures on the mouse population changed as well. In these environments, mice with light-colored fur would have been easily spotted by predators while mice with darker colored fur would have had an increased fitness due to their ability to have camouflage in the new conditions. This led to higher rates of survival and reproduction of mice that had darker fur colors. Thank you for watching, I hope this was helpful. In future videos, we'll continue to explore the evolution of rock pocket mice and kangaroo rats by examining the properties of water and chemistry of life. If you're curious to learn more about rock pocket mice and kangaroo rats, you might like this video right here.